Okay, I'm gonna get rolling. I'm gonna keep this short because I know you guys are all busy. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about a niche market. I'm sorry, I look like a hot mess. Um, and I'm gonna talk about finding your niche market and I'm gonna keep it relatively short. So grab a pen and paper and I will actually be posting this file into the team page because I feel like it's really, really helpful to understanding kind of what your niche market is. But the first thing that I kind of wanted to point out is a few things with figuring out your niche market. And one of those things is finding your niche market or your process to put your niche market into practice when it comes to your business is keeping things relatively the same. And I mean, making sure that you, if you have a process of how you post on social media or if you have a process on how you follow up, or send invite, invites out, anything that is business related, just make sure that you are staying consistent and that you're not constantly switching things up. Uh, because what that does, it kind of just allows you to take a step back in a way that you probably don't want to go. Oh, coffee? Thanks. There you go. What a guy. Thanks. Um, anyways. So what I mean by that, I'll kind of touch on that again, but if you have a system in place or if you have a new idea in place or if you have a way that you are communicating and talking to people on social media, keep it the same. Don't constantly switch things up because it takes two, three, four, six months in order for something to really stick and work and um, be to your benefit if you are staying consistent. Um, so that's the first point. The second point is every single time that you post on social media, make sure that you are, before you're posting, think about would you respond to that post? So if, if you, for example, posted on social media, think about, you know, if I was looking at this post, would I respond to it? Would I like it? Would I share it? Would I comment on it? Because that really will allow you to think about, is this my niche market? Or it will allow you to think about, is this adding value? to someone's life. And if it's not adding value, if you don't see a lot of value in it and you're just posting to post, don't post it. It's better, not to, it's better not to post than to post something that has no value. The third point is social media in general. If you are not using social media to be a catalyst for your business to grow, then finding out your niche market is kind of pointless. If you're not on social media, if you're not present, if you're not trying to motivate people through your story and through health and fitness and lifestyle posts, then it's really difficult to figure out your niche market because you're not going to know if people are following you just to follow or if they actually see a lot of value in what you have to post and offer. So you kind of have to check yourself. You know, Are you consistently posting on social media? If you're not, it's going to be really difficult for you to find that niche market and find the people that really see value in your posts. So those are my three main points to start. So diving into niche markets. So the first thing that you don't want to do is just to reach out to anybody. And I am guilty of this in my own business because, you know, we do want to help people, but at the same time we have success club goals and success club means selling a challenge pack and selling a challenge pack in your mind can be selling it to anybody who wants to sign up. But it's really important that once you figure out your niche market, that you are not just posting for everybody to join you, but you're actually asking the people that are like you, that relate to you, um, to be your challengers instead of just posting to everybody and trying to get everybody to join your challenge groups. Um, and that is a really, that's something that you just learn within the business. It's not something that just happens overnight. It takes a lot of practice to not just allow anybody to join your challenge groups. Um, and then a few things to avoid are saying I'm looking for X amount of people to join my group. And I'm actually guilty of this. In my recent posts, I've said I've, I'm looking for seven people to join my challenge group. That means that after seven people, are you going to allow that eighth person to join? Of course you are. So just be true to yourself. No one is going to say no to someone wanting to join a challenge group. But just making sure that if you figure out your niche market, 
then you're posting for those people who are part of your niche market. Those are the challenges that you want because those challengers will eventually turn into coaches. Um, something else to avoid that I heard about is like sending free samples and making the challenge groups and making the programs and Shakeology seem cheap is a big no, no, because if you're saying, Hey, I'll give you free stuff, then you're going to attract people that don't want to pay for things. And at the end of the day, like, there is a reason that we want to make an income and the income is selling challenge packs and keeping people on Shakeology and growing a team. So just make sure that you're not downgrading, you know, what you're doing. And, you know, for example, towards the end of the month, I'll do like a $20 cash back or a $10 cash back. And that is just like, if I am really struggling to hit my success club goals for the month, I will do that. But oftentimes I do not. Okay. So your target market is, Think about, write down on a piece of paper who you were before you started Beachbody. Think about it for a moment. For me personally, I'll just give you an example. I used to be a binge eater. I would do nighttime binge eating by myself. Um, I wouldn't eat until about 2 p.m. and I would live off of coffee and rice crackers. And then in the evening time, I would binge like a whole bottle of wine and a bunch of shitty food. And, um, that's what I struggled with. I've always been a spin instructor. I've always been on medications because of my binge eating habits. Um, I've been in a lot of debt. I've been miserable. I've had no direction. So these are all things that were me prior to Beachbody. I was very judgmental. I was prideful, et cetera, et cetera. So write down who you were before Beachbody. And if you're new to Beachbody and if you still feel like you're trying to figure out who you are and what your story is, just think about the small things that Beachbody has done for you. You know, you know, has it provided a community? Has it provided a positive outlet for you? Have you lost two inches, five pounds, um, given up Diet Coke? Like those little things that you did or that were your personality before Beachbody, those are the things that you should be writing down. Number two is who are you now? So think about your current state. If you're still going through your transformation, which I am, think about those things. Think about what you've accomplished, where you are, if you're more positive, if you're less judgmental, if you've paid off some debt. Think about all the things that coaching has done for you, and I want you to write those down. And then third, who are you moving to become? So think about the person that you want to be. You want to be positive. You want to be successful. You want to be a great mother. You want to X, Y, and Z. Think about all the things that you want to be, who you want to aspire to be, and talk about those things. So with those three steps, who were you, um, who are you now, and who you are aspiring to be, those are the posts that you should be posting about. And those can be health and fitness related. They can be lifestyle related, um, business related. And that is your niche market. Past, present, future is your niche market. So with those things, I want you guys to think of one word to describe those things. So for me, binge eater, obviously binge eater would be one word. So I'm going to go to a hashtag on Instagram. If you're not using Instagram to grow your business, I highly recommend it go to a hashtag that is related to you. So I go to binge eating hashtag. I go to spin instructor, medication free, um, paying off debt, trying to be positive, like all these things that represent me. And I go find people like me and I become friends with them and I talk to them because once you have your niche market words that define you, then it's easy for you to spark up conversation in a hashtag of, being a binge eater. Like I could easily go to a hashtag binge eating and start talking to someone that struggled with that or is struggling with that because we have something to relate to. Um, so those are the three things that I want you guys to do. And then hold on. My dog wants to. Okay. So the next thing that I want you guys to do is write down the 10 things that separate you from other coaches. It's really easy. And I feel like for a while it was great to talk about health and fitness and talk about, you know, your journey and this and that. And those are still great things that we should be talking about as coaches, but it's really important to start putting in pieces of your lifestyle because everyone knows what Beachbody is. Everyone knows who is a Beachbody coach and who is not. 
but we need to, as coaches, be mysterious in a way. This way people will look at our page and be like, hmm, I wonder what she does. She doesn't just do health and fitness. She's into health and fitness, but she's also into X, Y, Z. So find 10 things that make you different, that make you unique, that make your lifestyle look appealing. And it could be little things like going to paint with your mom at one of those wine things or um, painting your house or decorating, DIY, um, bargain shopping, like anything that separates you, doing laundry, um, I don't know, jewelry, like anything that separates you. So think about the things that separate you from other people. And those are the things that you should start talking about. So if you guys see on Instagram, and this can even apply to Facebook, but primarily my business is on Instagram now. If you see on Instagram, there's 12 boxes when you look at a homepage on Instagram, right? So three, six, nine, 12, yeah. So there's 12 boxes, right? So within those 12 boxes, you should be talking about those 10 things, every single 12 boxes, like that should be identified like to who you are. Because if people are scrolling through social media, your social media and it's really inconsistent, they're trying to find like, you know, what, what is drawing them to your page? Is it just one picture or is it several pictures that are um, in relation to them. So just make sure that you're taking those 10 things and that you are applying them to how you're posting on social media. Don't just post about your health and fitness, like post about your life, post about your kids, your lifestyle, traveling, whatever you do, just make sure you post about that. Um, a few things that you could post about is being a girl mom or you're retired or you're a nurse or you're an artist, you're a realtor, you love DIY, you're a dog mom, sales associate, you travel, you love chocolate, like anything that separates you from someone else. Start talking about that. And that's kind of it. Like that's how you find your niche market. And it's important once you find those 10 things that define you, keep the main points there, but then you can wiggle around and try to find different people. So what I do is I take those 10 things and every time I post on social media, I hashtag those 10 things. And then I go to that picture and I go to the hashtag, click on that hashtag and I go and find people using that hashtag because if they're using their hashtag, that same hashtag and I'm using the same hashtag, we could potentially be really good friends. We have something to talk about. Um, so that's kind of it. That's what I do and I've been doing it for a while and it's really allowed me to expand and find new people, find new friends. And so when I go to talk to them, it's easy. We have something to talk about. They can go to my IG and they're gonna see that I have a dog. Well, they have a dog too, so we have something to talk about. Or they're gonna go to my IG and notice that I love tequila and I love Taco Tuesday and coffee, I don't know, Thursday, whatever it is. Like you need to make sure that you are separating yourself from all the hundreds of thousands of beach body coaches that aren't going to do anything with this business. Like you have to separate yourself and the way that you separate yourself is to do this practice. Like at least once a month, once a month, who were you, who are you now and who you want to be? Start posting about that stuff. That's it. Do you guys have any questions? Cool. All right. So I hope you guys have a great evening. I'll post this in the team page and um, we'll talk later. Bye.